what I want to do with my hair today. I'm still getting used to the shorter hair, but I think I'm just gonna quickly touch up this side. I'm in a rush to leave because I don't have too much time to study today. I'm meeting my friend around 3 o'clock just to get some lunch, have some drinks and catch up. So I need to be proactive because it's not likely that I'm going to be in the mood to study once I get home. Yeah, let's get going and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. to meet my friend we're actually gonna go to this vintage shop across the street and then head over to bodega for dinner such a good time today. I honestly consider myself an introvert. I love being a homebody with my boys but for that reason I also struggle sometimes making content that I feel is interesting for you guys but after just indulging in so many great conversations today and vibing off of the good energy I feel so much appreciation. I'm so happy right now and on that note I also, as you guys saw, picked up this jacket from a vintage store in Chinatown, which I think is new. I haven't actually been there before until today, but I picked up this green jacket and it's actually a liner of a combat jacket, which I think is so cool, especially being that it has the original stitching on the bottom as well. 
It fits oversized, which I think is so perfect for the fall season. It's only 9 p.m., so I think for the remainder of my evening, I'm just gonna work on some self-care maintenance. I received this package in the mail today from Stylevana. I showed you in my last video what I ordered, so I thought it would be kind of fun to open it up on camera. And yeah, maybe make myself some tea. And then I think I'm also going to spend some time reading and doing some journaling before I go to bed. We've got an audience today. Alright. No, 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 no. Okay, let's put this away. Alright, so now that everything is out of the box, I'll show you the five things that I picked up. And I'll start with these two. They're both products that I've ordered in the past. This one is the AHA BHA PHA Miracle Toner by Sun By Me. And it's lasted me six months so far and I have a little bit left to go. But I've been using it basically every day and I saw the results almost immediately. Like literally the next day I could see an effect that it had on my skin and especially on those really annoying small bumps that I get. For me, it usually happens around this area and in the middle of my forehead. But ever since using this toner, I noticed that it significantly improved the texture of my skin. So I definitely had to rebuy this. Next, I have the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. I also purchased this six months ago, but Eric's actually the one who uses it the most. It's a mixture of like a moisturizer and toner in one. So I think that's why it's perfect for someone who doesn't have the time to go through multiple steps in their skincare routine. I bought this when it was still pretty cold outside and my skin was really dry at the time. So it definitely helped with the dryness, but right now my skin is becoming more oily. So I just find that it's not the best product for my skin at the moment. So yeah, I just got this one for Eric. And next is the product that I'm the most excited about. It's the Misha Time Revolution Night Repair Probiotic Ampule. It has a really long name, but I've heard such great things about it. And it's also supposed to be a good dupe for the Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. They both have the same main ingredient, Bifida Ferment Lysate. And what stood out to me the most about Misha's product is that it has 10 different types of lactobacillus ingredients, which in combination with the other ingredients such as squalene, seed oil, sodium hyaluronate, I really had bad pronunciation. But in combination with those other ingredients, it's supposed to be really good for maintaining the skin barrier and the skin elasticity and texture. So it's basically everything that I need in one serum. So I think I'm actually gonna try it tonight. Next is a pretty basic product, but it's a 21.5% vitamin C serum by Wish Trend. I'm not too sure how my skin is gonna react because I haven't tried a concentration this strong. So I'm definitely gonna have to start off with a smaller amount and probably go over my skin with some hyaluronic acid just to balance out the possible irritation. And finally, I have these Acne Pimple Master Patches from CauseRx. I've never tried pimple patches before, but now that my skin is becoming more oily, I noticed that I'm getting really odd breakouts around my jawline. I'm not sure if it's from the oil or if it's hormonal, but I thought it would be a good idea to invest in one of these. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep touching it and it's just gonna keep getting worse. Pull me in, draw me close. 